Hello everyone, welcome to the demo for tabular data classification with NNI in Azure Machine Learning. The goal of the experiment is to use NNI NAS 2.0 Reshiery, framework to search for the best neural architecture for tabular data classification task in Azure Machine Learning training platform. Let's try it step by step. Step 1. Prepare the dataset. Here we use the classic Titanic dataset as an example. Step 2. Define the model space. Model space is defined by users to express a set of models that they want to explore, which contains potentially good performing models. In Reshiery framework, a model space is defined with two parts, a base model and possible mutations on the base model. Step 2.1. Define the base model. Defining a base model is almost the same as defining a PyTorch model. Usually, you only need to replace the code that imports PyTorch to use NNI-wrapped PyTorch modules. This is a very simple example of defining a base model. Step 2.2. Define the model mutations. A base model is only one concrete model, not a model space. NNI provides APIs and primitives for users to express how the base model can be mutated. The following will use inline mutation APIs as an example. Besides inline mutations, Reshiery also provides Mutator, a more general approach to express complex model space. Step 3. Explore the defined model space. In NAS process, the search strategy repeatedly generates new models, and the model evaluator is for training and validating each generated model. The obtained performance of a generated model is collected and sent to the search strategy for generating better models. Users can choose a proper search strategy to explore the model space, and use a chosen or user-defined model evaluator to evaluate the performance of each sampled model. In Step 3.1, we choose the TPE strategy as search strategy. Step 3.2, choose or write a model evaluator. In the context of PyTorch, Reshiery has provided two built-in model evaluators, designed for simple use cases, classification and regression. These two evaluators are built upon the awesome library PyTorch Lightning. Step 4. Configure the experiment. After all the above are prepared, it is time to configure an experiment to do the model search. The basic experiment configuration is as follows. Running NNI experiments on the Azure Machine Learning Training Service is also simple. You only need to configure the following additional fields. Step 5. Run and view the experiment. You can launch the experiment now. It is worth mentioning that NNI provides a powerful web UI to help users view the experiment results and make more advanced analyses. Open the web UI URL in your browser, you can view detailed information about the experiment. When the experiment is done, you can see the best metric, top trials on the web UI, or find the location of the trial workspace in the drop-down box. The log of the trial is in outputs plus logs, which contains the standard output from a run and can be useful when you're debugging remote runs in the cloud. Click into the experiment detail page, you can see all the submitted trial jobs and the point graph of them. In addition, there are more advanced features waiting for you to discover on NNI's web UI. For experiments running on the Azure Machine Learning, you can also go to AML Workspace to monitor them. In the Experiment List page, find the experiment just run by Experiment ID. Enter a run, you can see some summary information and the logs and outputs of trials. Step 6. Export the top model. NNI also provides an API to export the top K model scripts searched by Reshiery, so you can use them easily.
Thanks for watching and looking forward to your feedback.